Hey guys, it's Pat from Pat's Brewery, and we're back with a beer from Big Banana. That's right, this is the second beer that I was sent from uh, Stephen at Big Banana Brewing, and it is a New Zealand Pilsner. Um, Nelson loves Sriracha. Hope that's pronounced correctly, but if it's not, no. In any case, um, I have watched a couple of other, other people's review videos of, of this beer, um, although that was a number of weeks ago. Um, there's been a bit of a gap between my last video and this one, um, mainly because I've been <laughs> drinking my beer advent calendar, uh, and so I haven't got around to this, but the, this has been sitting in the fridge for quite a while now, and I thought, it's about time I crack this one open, so let's do that and uh, see how it is. A little bit of a hiss there. A little bit of uh, carbonation smoke or steam, whatever that is. Let's move this up more. See, that is an interesting colour. It, it almost looks purple. In, it's incredibly clear, so obviously I'm looking through it at things. Uh, so that's probably having me an impact. But yeah, it, I don't recall anyone else calling it out as having a slight purple tinge. <laughs> The glass was clean, um, they were concerned now that maybe I should be pouring some into another glass to see if I'm getting the same results. Why, why not? Let's just double check. Let's double check. No, that's pretty much the same. Um, yeah, well, maybe my eyesight is just uh, a little bit, little bit off with regards to the colour. Maybe it's a little bit pink. Maybe not purple, maybe pink. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, um, okay, let's take a close up photo so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, in any case, Nelson loves Sriracha. Let's give it a little bit of a sniff. Cool. Oh. Little, what do I call that? A little f subtle fruit. Um, I'm just curious to see. Yeah, it's not massively aromatic, I don't think. Um, Oh, it's tart. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> oh, that is it's an interesting one. Let's have a little check on the old IBUs. So, <clears throat> surprisingly low on the IBUs. Um, but then again, I think that was one of the things that, um, I can't remember who it was that called it out, but there's a difference between bitterness and, and tartness, obviously. Um, but you might be able to get a little bit confused. If I've added that up correctly, there's only 24 IBUs, so relatively low. And I guess, yeah, that it, I can understand that. If, if I make sure in my head, I think, the difference between a tartness and a bitterness. Um, so I do, I do remember from someone's video was uh, a reference to gooseberries and um, I haven't had a gooseberry 
for many years. Um, I think my parents used to have a little gooseberry bush, but I haven't had one in a long, long time. But I can imagine that, yeah, if I try and recall what a gooseberry mainly tastes like, yeah, I can, I can see it in this. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I called out enough that it is incredibly clear, as a Pilsner should be. Um, carbonation, very nice. Lots of fine little bubbles in there. Mm. That's quite nice. I'm glad I've not poured it all in here because what I'll probably do is actually take this inside and drink some with uh, a bit of TV. Mm. That's very nice. I'm, I'm sorry I'm keeping it relatively low on this thing. Um, <clears throat> with regards to my current position on, on, on this one is that I don't, I have realised actually that I haven't used that many different types of hops. Or maybe there's just so many that every day, or no, maybe not every day, but yeah, it seems like every week someone's saying, I'm using this hop in this beer. And I go, never used that one in a beer. Don't know what it's like. And I think because so many beers, when you buy them, like commercially, um, they don't call out what hops are being used. I don't think I could even specifically go, oh, just like X beer or just like this beer, because um, sometimes I do think it, it's quite hard to locate the individual hop flavour. Um, but obviously, if I now see Nelson or Sriracha on any of the beers that I purchase, I'll be able to go. That's just like that uh, Pilsner I got from uh, Big Banana Brewing. That's really nice. Yeah, I mean, I think I was definitely taken back a little bit with the initial tartness. But it's, and again, it's tartness, it's not sour. It's not like a sour. Um, It's definitely a different type of beer to what I've had previously. I mean, yeah. All right, that's that one. Let's uh, um, just in case you're wondering, the glass definitely wasn't dirty because I'm getting the exact same sort of drink from there. So let's take this inside and. Uh, Finish this one off. Uh, thank you again, Big Banana Brewing. Link is down below to his channel. Um, maybe this is a, a quicker video. I'm not too sure. It's most appreciated, and I don't know if this video is coming out before or after Christmas. If before Merry Christmas, and if after, I hope you had a good one. Cheers.